In this video, we are going to cover how to manipulate uh, user preferences inside of ServiceNow uh, through the both the server side API as well as the client side API for user preferences. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with user preferences, uh, user preferences can be accessed by a system administrator in the uh, ServiceNow platform by browsing to um, user preferences and it's under the user administration application. If we were to click on that, it would show um, the various uh, user preferences out there. There's always a name associated with them, a value, and also a user uh, associated with that preference. Each user, each user will have their own set of preferences um, that are available to them. We can create new preferences on the fly and we can access uh, existing preferences as well. Uh, in this example, we're going to look at both the server side API for getting and setting preferences, as well as the client side API uh, for doing uh, the same actions. So in order to jump to the server side API, I'm going to go into my background scripts uh, as a administrator. And really, there's there's two ways to get user preferences. So since we were talking about user preferences, uh, we're talking about your own user preferences or somebody else's user preferences. And in the server side, we actually have the ability to do either your the the current user's preferences or a different user's preferences. Uh, the first example we'll cover is um, manipulating the current user uh, their preferences. So to do that. What we do is um, the the format for this is gs dot get user. We have to get the the current user object, and then the API call is set preference, and then we just give that preference a name. So I'm going to call this fave short desk. So for our example, we're going to mess around with the short description field on on the problem table. So I'm just going to call this my favorite short description. And um, I'm going to give it a value to set. So I'm going to say uh, John was here today. OK. Uh, now, <clears throat> this will set the preference. If we want to get the preference, uh, we use a similar method. We still need to get the user ob object. So let's set a variable here. And let's get the user object. And then instead of calling set preference, we're going to call get preference. And we specify the preference that we're looking for. Then let's just print that out to the screen here. So I'm going to run the script. As you can see here, when we got the user preference value, it was John was here today. Great. So if we want to go and check in the user preference table, uh, the table isn't always uh, immediate uh, as I've seen sometimes it, it seems like sometimes there's a delay but we'll go to that user preference table and let's uh, reverse sort on updated and as you can see um, here's our fave short description it's John was here today great now uh, let's say we want to do this for a different user we don't want to go with my user but we want to go with a different user in the system so to do that, it's actually something very similar. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and create a uh, var user. And we'll say gs.getUser. This is going to get the current user. But again, we want to get a different user. But we first need to get the type of object that comes with the current user. And then we'll call from that, we'll call getUser by ID and I've copied a sysid of another user, uh, so I'll just paste that sysid here. What that does, that gets the, um, the session's uh, user object for that user ID. And now we can say user.setPreference. Fave short description here. Ninjas are cool. And then let's do a gs.print of user.get preference. Fave short description. 
And then we'll do a gs.print of gs.get user get preference fave short description. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to show the user preference for that specific user up here, and then it's going to print out our corresponding current user's uh, favorite short description. So let's run that. As you can see here, here's that other user's uh, user preference, and then here's our current user's user preference. So, so that's how you get and set preferences for other users when you're doing a server-side script. Now, let's let's do something a little different. Let's go with uh, um, client-side uh, scripting and access the user preferences from the client-side scripts. Uh, for this example, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the problem table and let's open an existing problem here. And what we want to do is, this isn't really a, a, a real world example, but what we're going to do is give the ability, we'll add two buttons up here, we'll give the ability to set our favorite short description uh, based off of what's in this short description field. We'll also have a button that will overwrite what's in the short description field with our favorite uh, short description uh, prefer preference. So to do that, let's uh, create a new UI action and we'll call this one get favorite short description we will make this a button we'll make this a client uh, action and on click let's say get short desk as preference copy that and then let's define the function this will be a really simple function. We'll use the gform uh, object to set the value of the short description field. And we will get the user preference um, for our favorite short description. Now, for client side uh, user preference access and manipulation, it's actually a lot easier than server side. Not the server side, but it's hard. But essentially, all it is is get preference. It's just a global function, get preference, and we'll get the fave short desk preference for this current user. Now as far as I know, in client-side scripts you're only getting the current logged in users uh, user preferences. I don't think you can uh, get into another user's user preferences from the client without doing an Ajax call to a server function. Which, which makes a lot of sense anyway. So we'll go ahead and let's save this uh, button. Now let's also create a button to set the short description field, or actually to set the short description preference based off of what's in the short description field. So that one will just uh, say, I'm just going to uh, rename this and do an insert and stay. That just does a copy. And it's still going to be a form button. This time we're going to set the short description as a preference. So we're going to set that preference. And so we'll rename our function here as well. And uh, instead of doing this, what we'll do is we'll call the set preference method. We're going to set the fave short desk preference. And we're going to set that preference with what is in the short description field. Now we'll go ahead and click update on that as well. So now if we go to a problem table, let's go to an existing problem ticket that says unknown source of SAP outage. We'll just go to that. There's our two buttons. Um, let's overwrite this short description with our favorite short description that's stored in our user preference uh, list. As you might recall, it was John was here today as was set in our server-side script. So let's get that favorite sort description and see how it overwrote the short description that was in there. Okay, we don't, we don't really want to do that. Let's uh, reload the form. And let's take this short description and set that as our favorite short description. So we'll go ahead and set 
click the set favorite short description button. That, then if we go into another problem such as Oracle down, we can get our favorite short description and it overwrites with our user preference. Not really a world, real world example, um, but nonetheless it does show how you can use client side scripts to also get and manipulate your user preferences. Thanks and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.